welcome back guys so uh let's make some let's make some close enough armor for it something close enough not entirely it but something <coughs> something close enough okay so we need to start by if I'm to create the entire thing just too much that would just be that would just be too much detail that would just, that would just be too much detail so I'll just create something close enough it might not be it won't, it won't be entirely it but something close enough at the very least so uh let's start by creating this color piece in here okay so the color piece is looking somewhat something around here like so so i'm going to duplicate Then we should duplicate this piece. Hmm. Hmm. I'll duplicate this head piece. Then before you duplicate, I would let me turn off all this skin imperfection on the Okay, then do big all. Reduce the subdivision level. I think I should hide this for now. <clears throat> mm, let's see something around 3 million should be fine. Then I'll delete higher, delete lower. So what, I'm, so what I want to do is just to crop out or to max out <clears throat> something for the color. Let me just start like so. And I'm going to use the max lasso. Just max out something like so. Max out this invert max this center parts. I'm done symmetry for this. Okay. Something like so. Maybe we'll grab these parts. Grab this. Just make it turn on, grab these parts. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> something like so. Then we'll do an extract. Let's extract this piece. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. So I click on accept. Let's go to the poly group. I'll isolate this group, the outer part, outer part of the shell. I see the outer part of the shell. Then I would <coughs> lead by modify the lead by type hidden. Visualize this. Okay, then I'm going to isolate this. Okay, let me turn off symmetry for this. I'll isolate this part. I want to move this. No, yes, use the move brush. <coughs> use the move brush, kind of move this in place. 
Let me kind of, I'm just gonna figure out which one goes on top. Okay, the other side goes on top. So this one should. Huh. I'm just pushing and pulling this out some more. Okay, get this down. Okay, invert the max, then we'll push this invert the max. Let me bring this out some more. Invert the max, push this in like so. Okay. I think it's a good place. It's a good place. Okay. <clears throat> then we need to smooth the we need to smooth this poly group. It's quite a lot though. So let's start by using the polish by group. I'll turn this dot off. <clears throat> Then let's polish it. So I'll just drag this out a bit more. A bit more. Ah, I think we need to. Let's see, can I smooth this down? Let's just keep doing this until we get something smooth around there. Probably <clears throat> should probably help this some more by raising this part up. So that should help. Now we have too many polygons in here, so we need to reduce that first first to have, have better definition in there, but at least we're getting something. So let's <clears throat> Come down here, I would turn on the other side for this. Okay. Let's go, let's duplicate this. I'll duplicate this piece. <clears throat> Think. And drag this down. Drag this down also. So I'm working with this piece. Okay, so let's, let's um, do a rematch for this. Let's do a Z rematch for this. So Um, if I do the image for this, let me isolate this. I want to draw out parts. So let me use the slice curve. Just draw straight line around here, like so. Now let me do that a bit properly. Kind of want to draw it where the shoulder shoulder should. Shoulder should be I'm trying to okay, I think he's in there already. So just trying to trying to direct how the how the um how this should be is it remarked. It's quite dense for now though, but that's fine. So let's Go to zero Masha. Turn off adaptive. Turn up. Turn this on. Turn this on. Okay. Five K. Uh, yeah, five K seems fine. So let's. Well, let's start with hundred. Then we'll keep 
pulling this down. <coughs> Are you for real? <coughs> Zero match encountered error. Zero match aborted. Fantastic. Let's try this again without the. Okay, it didn't work because I had I had this slice, so I just removed the poly group we had sliced, so it's working now. Okay, we have something a bit lighter now, around 100k. So let's click on half. Let's do half of that again. Okay, while we're here, I would like to also do like to also do polish by group. You can see how we have this working even faster when we have polish by group, and like when it was really dense. <clears throat> Wait a minute, something is off. Why are we losing? Why are we losing this piece? Why are we losing this piece? Max is out. I just add control and then drag. No, invert this. Push this out. Get some more. Invert the max. Use the move brush. Push this up. Probably because I have symmetry turned on while this was in machine. That's why. That is why. So let's see match this again. Symmetry is already turned off. Zero match this again. Okay, we have something lower now. Let's go half of this again. The issue was that asymmetry turned down, so you have to turn symmetry off. Okay, we're getting something lower. Let's use the. Let's polish by group. Right, so something like this seems fine. And let's zero match this again half way. Let's go half again. Maybe we'll put this to around 6k. Okay. Let's go one more. Rather half of this, yeah, 2k, 2k seems fine. Yeah, this should be fine. So, got of solo mode, so you can see how this is penetrating into the mesh. We don't want that, so let me center this. Can just scale this out some more, like so. Then use the move brush, turn on symmetry for this. Use the move brush and just somewhat kind of push this a bit closer. Okay, something like this should be fine. Okay, so our first pass for this. So this part I'm not going to turn off, turn off symmetry for this. Okay, like so. I think we can add thickness to this. Mm, there is the okay, it should be dynamic here. Turn on dynamic smooth. 
sickness can't even see thickness in there oh okay better shift f segments to Okay, this must subdivision just one. Just one. I think this should be fine. Uh, I think I'll need more thickness to this. Need a bit more thickness. So much. Okay, perhaps this should work. Let's apply this first. Let's subdivide. Yeah, this will work just fine. This should work just fine. Okay. Let's compare this to the other one. So we have like two layers of this. Then the other one is quite is a bit shorter. The other one is a bit shorter. But that's fine. We we'll just use a duplicate for it. I think where is this duplicate? Duplicate this again. Control D. What am I doing? Control D, not Control D. Undo that. I'm adding subdivision levels on it. I don't want to add subdivision levels on that. So, let me just do normal duplicates here. Drag this down. Push this up here, like so. So, this piece should be. This one actually has gap in between. So, um, let me hide this for now. So you can just look at this piece. No, I think just to work a bit faster, I think I'll just use this. This is this solo this out instead. This is just this will work just fine. So I just need to max out the region I need. So I need to deselect or the max. This the max. Should I call it the max? Get something lower. Maybe a bit more around the air. Hmm. Now let's okay. I think somewhere around the air should be fine, I guess. Okay, it should be fine. So let's do an extract again for this. Accept. Let's bring everything back out. So I will scale this one out some more. Think ton of symmetry for now. And scale this out some more. Like this. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this again. Out. Get this down. We obviously need to use the move brush and then pull and push, pull and push things out some more. So we see make it turn on.
which place is this? So we don't need this place. Let's hide. Let's hide that. Let's hide that. Let's turn this back on. So now I won't say I want to get it even out a bit more. This this one need to scale this out some more. So forward a bit more. Okay. Then use the move brush and then just pull this out. Okay. Then isolate this piece. Let's turn on. Let's turn on double side in here. Delete hidden. Delete hidden. Delete hidden. Okay. Mm, maybe we should start by doing the zero mark for this. Okay, if I do zero mark, let's on the deformation tab. Turn this off. Get something at least smooth enough in there. Is this piece we are trying to recreate? We are trying to recreate. Trying to recreate this piece here. This black piece. So that's what we are trying to recreate here. Okay, so, um, yes, uh, okay, um, okay, so let's dynamash rather, let's zero match this. Let's put this all the way to 100 press, keep group the text edge, zero match. Okay. Zero mash again. Oh no. Cancel that. Halfway. Zero mash. Okay. This is not supposed to be this big. It's not supposed to be this big, though. It's supposed to even delete some part of this. It's supposed to even get some part of this deleted. All this part, like so, should be deleted. That would, just, that would just be a strap piece that we don't actually need. So give that a CP poly group. Invert this. Then do it delete hidden. Delete hidden. Deformation tab. Polish this out some more. Okay. Piece weird now. Bring this closer. Okay. Let's go half again in here. Turn this off. Put it at 5k. Oh, we need to turn up adaptive. I don't know why I was not adaptive on this way. 
zero merge this polish max out this parts then polish by group okay yeah much better one polish again okay let's go up again of this Half. one more I think this should be fine okay I think I need to even bring this closer So I'll shrink this some more. Maybe somewhere around here should be fine. Yeah, I think I need to push. I need to push and put a push and pull a lot of things in. No, I'll do that. Turn on symmetry. Let's do this with symmetry turn on. This parts being down. Oh, I think I need to adjust this some more. Uh, just draw. Oh, no. No. Drag this out some more. Invert the max. I kind of want to kind of push this closer let's get this closer because it's kind of out way too much get this somewhat closer like so smooth this part out closer smooth this part out Um, I think we're in a good place. Yeah, I think we're in a good place. So now I can bring this. So we need to bring this closer also. I'm going to see me from now. I think my render should to be render should to be somewhere around here. So I think this is, a, this is the only piece I'm just going to recreate. So any other piece, I will just ignore that. Okay. Let's mark this part out. Invert the max. Get this down. Okay. Invert the max. Get this down. Down. Okay. This lower part is not going to be visible, it's not going to be visible though. So let's just, let's just get this something like so. Get this something like so. Smooth this out. Okay, max out these parts. Blow this out. Then we can polish by group again just to get something a bit neater around this. 
move this out. Okay. Right. Uh, I think I need to we need to go into this up to raise this up to be something somewhat like so. This is done. Okay. Mark this polish by group. Okay, so let's add. I think turn on symmetry for this. We polish by group around here. Okay, let's polish by feature. Okay. Of symmetry for this. No, polish by features. Okay. Let's have some thickness to it. Add some thickness to this so dynamic subdivision. Turn this on, okay? Shift F. Add one segment to this, okay? Let's add two instead. So make it three rather. And figure out how thick that piece should be. Maybe even thicker than it is right now. Mm, somewhere around this will be fine. Apply subdivide. Nah, let me undo that. Take this to two. Apply. Undo that again. Take this to one. Take this smooth guy the subdivision level to one. Apply that. Subdivide. Yeah, something like this. The financial is going to be somewhere around here. Do this again. Go past this. Get this closer. Get this closer, like so. Okay. So our render shot is going to be somewhere. Something like. Something like so. Something, something around the likes, like so. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a render shot. So, I think we're in a good spot. Except in, except in our next lesson, we need to add some more details to this second piece we just created. So, so it feels more like, you know, if I can. Let me use other reference instead. 
Let's see the main reference. Let's see what is actually there. This is more like a, okay, kind of like a leather piece. This is more like a leather piece with some good texture on the side, around this side. Some good fabric on that side. Probably say, probably say now one should also be leather also. Both should be kind of leather. I think this should be fine. This for the most part, this should work just fine. We can go, I think we can detail this even for the it deletes higher. We can detail this even further by doing something like Shift F. Uh, yes, you can just detail this. Just detail this and just come piece even further. Mm. Okay. Can I? Okay. Let's duplicate this. I think we might even go for the both of them. So I'll duplicate this. Hide this one. Now let me solo it. We need. Mm, what do you, which part do we need for this? Okay, we need the outer parts. <clears throat> and I'll do a delete Eden. Delete Eden for this. Take this down and scale like this should be fine. So, kind of moving towards this, kind of, okay, I think it made the brush a bit smaller. But I'm, I'm going to use the set of the brush, kind of taper, taper a shape around this. So, let's do under stroke, curve modifiers, or curve function, border. Should just border then. B, let's use an IMM brush. Rather, a curve brush, rather. I would use strap. I think it should be strap. Strap would be a good one. Now, just click in here, like so. Let's see. Let's increase this even increase the size even more. 15. Let's try 15. Yeah, I think 15 should be 15 should be fine. 15 should work just fine for this. And I'll just hold out and deselect. Go back in here. Okay. Let's do a What's that called? Split on max points. Split on max point for this. This piece I would hide it now. This is trap we get from it. Let's this is the original. I believe that's the original. This is the, yeah, that's the original. To push this back, so mark these parts over the marks. Oh, move brush, smooth this over this, move this. Think this should be fine. I think we need to inflate this some more. Probably inflate or extrude this out. Let's see. Let's try inflating this. Yeah, I think inflate should work just fine. Mm. 
we want more. Ah, uh, that's a bit too much. So we just a little bit of inflict, then we can push it down. Just push it down so let's select this piece. Um, try to go in a, in a negative value, make it a bit slimmer. That's a bit too much. I think this should be fine. Let's subdivide this piece. Should have something like this. I don't know if I will need this though. Let's add BZM crap. Let's add an inset. Put it on the gross size. No. Sink. Yeah. And here should be fine. So we should be having something like this now. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. That will work. Let's go to this piece instead. Let's see what we can do here. Delete aya. Let's do something similar in there too. So let's duplicate. I'll duplicate this. Solo it. No, okay. Yes. Let's do. Let's polish this just a little. No polish, no more regular pull. Mm. Crips edge. Okay, so maybe something like this. Okay, then we'll do delete again. Let's do delete again. Uh, curve frame. B ah uh, no, B curve strap. Tap this in here. I think something small like this should be fine. Isolate. Tap a separate shape. So I need to hide, I need to hide this piece. So I'll hide that. No, yeah, this piece here. Man, I'm lost. Now I'm lost. Now I'm completely lost. Ah, uh, great. Um, Seems to have 
great that's just great no 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 man i'm not totally confused right now where's the bottle of crap Okay, this is the original piece. Yes, this is the piece I'm looking for. Great. It's the piece I'm looking for. So if anything else, let's make sure this is turned on. The select. This is the piece here. Trying to claim just split hidden, split on max points instead. So this is the piece. Let me hide that for now. Um, it's getting a bit confusing. Okay, this is the piece we need. Let's inflate that. Let's get it. Just to get it out like so. There's another extra piece there that we're not supposed to be doing this scene. This is which is this piece. So let me hide that. Should probably delete that stroke. Delete. Okay. So B Z M. Let's just add one around here. And around here, this should be fine. Maybe. There's something a bit tighter. A tighter edge to it. Okay. Subdivide that. <clears throat> then bring back the main head. Bring back the main head. Think I should push. What is that? Is there a strap piece in there? What? Which piece is that? Another flat piece that we don't need. There's something in there. I feel like there's something in there. But let's, let me just properly arrange everything that is visible now. That I actually need. I don't need. I don't need this. So I'll shoot this down. Shoot this up. Anything I need, I'll just shoot that up instead. Shoot that up. Any other thing done, I don't need, I'll just leave that as the air. There's an extra piece, I feel like there's an extra piece in here. It's almost like I can see an extra piece in there. Okay, so this is trying to merge these two down. 
So let me first start by sending it down. I'll send this down also. Then I'll merge down on these two. Uh, okay, before I merge down, just to keep things keep things safe, let's do no, not so too. Even master, unwrap this with polygroup. Can we unwrap this also? Let me see if I can group by normal. Yes, that will work. Then unwrap polygroup. The rest of able to be active. Okay, okay. Delete higher or wrap, okay. So, in here, I would merge down, but I would use keep. I would use, yeah, I want to keep my UVs in there, so let's merge down, okay. So, we have this tool now, select this. Shoot this down, hold and shift and shoot this down. Select this, hold and shift, shoot this down. Shift, great. Keep sub subdividing what I don't need to sub subdivide there. Take this down, delete higher. Let's isolate this, let's get group by normal. Then let's do unwrap. Okay, select this. Isolate it. Unwrap this with the polygroup turned on. Then let's merge this to down. So select this merge. Merge down. All right, so pretty much something like this should be fine. Okay, so do a quick save for this. So in the next lesson, we'll see what else we can do to make this better. See what else we can do to make this better, and then move on to something else. So. See you guys in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.